Our first guest is here to teach us how to step up our morning breakfasts or brunch for that matter with a gourmet twist on classic lox and bagels. I'm so excited for this. Welcome to our kitchen, Chef Sang Yoon. Welcome, Chef. Welcome, so Chef. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for and being step here. Step up, we will. The seriously, joining Cam at the counter with a beautiful lox and bagel in front of them mm -hmm. are Paigey and Maria. You guys dig in. Wow. Today, you've brought my favorite, which is the everything bagel. Everything, literally everything. Plus, we've added a little cumin for that kind of like little Mexican flavor. Flavor, and we've made the bagel out of masa, corn, so it actually tastes kind of like the outside of a tamale. Oh. Isn't that cool? You get that little flavor of, yeah, that, that, so oh. it's, it's the deli meets the taco truck. <laughs> I love that. That's very like LA. All right, so we have our salt and our sugar here, and you're going to teach everyone at home, including us, uh -huh. how to cure, because yep. curing is not something that people really do that often in modern times anymore, Well, right? curing is important because, you know, like, we, we need to cure a lot of things, but um, the, the way I'm going to show you how to cure things, um, the cure will go very fast. It just uses just household ingredients, salt and sugar. I've heard the term, but I have absolutely no idea how to do it, so I'm going to learn right now. Right, you get a really great piece of salmon or, or whatever it is you're going to cure, yeah. and you just do exactly what Chef is about to show us do. So sugar and salt. Sugar and salt. And then we add a little bit of an interesting um, yes. ingredient here. So, so, so uh, in the Netherlands, sometimes you use vodka for curing. Mm. And this is traditionally called gravlax. And we've added sort of like a Mexican LA twist to it. So we're going to use mezcal, smoky. Tequila. So the finished yeah. product's going to smell oh, like you good. smoked it without actually having to smoke it. Nice. Smell, smell. I okay. definitely try, oh, try, to, yeah. try to get, this, try to get it on the smoke? salmon. Yes. Good morning. That is yeah. fascinating. The hardest part about this is putting it on the salmon <laughs> and not, mm -hmm. yeah. But it'll definitely wake you up. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so there you so go. So we get it nice and moist, and then we're going to add our salt and That's sugar it. equal parts. No yep. spices, nothing? No, we're going to add a little bit of cilantro to this. That's it. What's That's weird it. Is it doesn't taste sweet. I don't taste the sugar. Yeah, no, it doesn't. It, it should not have a nice it's savory. Balanced. Yeah, yeah it's just balanced and perfect. Okay, so you really cover that. Mm -hmm. Then we put the cilantro on, and then we put it in our refrigerator after we wrap it yes. for a pretty long time. Yeah, so depending on the thickness of the salmon, if you have a really thin fillet, it could be as short as 24 hours. Ours we're going to do for 36 hours because it's a nice thick fillet. Okay, and all those flavors are then going to mm -hmm. infuse mm -hmm. into the fish. The saltiness is going to infuse into mm -hmm. the fish. And we just it's do a, so a simple wrap like this. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, so what about that allowed the fishermen back in the day to have the fish stay for a long time? What is it about that that makes it for, sort of not go bad in a sense? Right, so the chemistry of this is like, this is a whole mm. other segment, but the chemistry <laughs> of it is what ends up happening is the salt ends up denaturing the protein mm. and killing all the bacteria. Oh. There we go. So we wrap okay. it really well. We that put goes this in the fridge. In the refrigerator for. Thank you, sous chef Deb. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. 24 Thank you. to 36 hours. Yes. And then when we take it out, we wash it very well, mm -hmm. pat it dry, and as you can see, this has been covered with something, and that is this interesting mix right here. Wow. To add a little bit of spice and a little more smokiness, two kinds of Mexican chilies, guajillo and chipotle. So you might taste a little heat in the back. Mm. So does it have to sit any longer after you cover it with the, the chili? Paste? I like to leave it in the refrigerator for another four to six hours with the chili on top. Okay. And then you're ready to slice. All right, so we're going to set this aside for a minute and we are going to make your fancy pants cream cheese. Heavy cream. Uh, Mexican cotija cheese, mm. nice, salty, tangy. If you can't find the cotija, feta works as well. Oh, I like that. But cotija is better. Okay. Add that. <laughs> easy. Okay. Just cubed up regular cream cheese. Okay. Okay, and they add that. And then sort of the little secret thing that kind of helps thicken it all, carrageenan, made from seaweed. Use instead of uh, gelatin, it's right. completely vegan. So it's vegan oh, gelatin. Nice. They're using that in jellos now. It's, it's oh. really. And this will help it all thing. set up. It'll help it all, you know, come together. Firm up. Now, exactly. do we have, what is this, just a mixture of salt and pepper? Uh, that's just some white pepper. Oh, and I like wow. to put a little pinch of salt. Yes, thank you. A little white pepper. That okay, never hurts. You prefer the white pepper? Love white pepper. A lot more, a um, uh, lot more intense. Use a, a lot less than black pepper, and you don't get the ugly uh, it feels dark. Like it's like yeah. more of like an earthy flavor to it than like a black pepper, right? Yeah, black pepper is all. Uh, it's it's more floral. Uh, um, white pepper is more intense. Yeah, right. Yes. So one that comes together, we let it cool, and we put it in a piping bag. If yes. you don't have a piping bag, you just use a regular plastic bag. Cut exactly. the end off, right? So this just cooled overnight, and it's set up, and it's going to firm up and have a lovely, like, almost like cake frosting-like texture. Okay, now we are going to make, or we're going to build our beautiful bagel, but first we have to slice our salmon. Now, is there a specific way to slice it? There is, well, there's a specific way to do everything, yes. <laughs> now, <laughs> I guess so. Dev, come on, what have we talked about? Uh, so I, I'm not, a, I, I like to use very few knives. I actually don't have a lot of knives. I have a chef knife, a paring knife. This is the one time you need kind of a little special knife, it mm. helps a lot. A long-bladed, slice, thin mm. slicing knife really helps. Okay. And the reason for that is, 
When we're slicing, if your knife is short, you end up doing a lot of sawing, mm -hmm. oh. and then, and then oh. the salmon will come apart. So having a longer knife allows you to use the full length wow. and oh. do it all kind of in one little yeah. simple stroke. Oh, oh chef, that's, that's beautiful. beautiful. That was artwork. Wasn't that gorgeous? Yes. Oh, man, I'm Look at that. This. I feel like this is an infomercial. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the texture, the 36-hour cure, look how it's lovely, really moist, beautiful. and firm. Yeah, it's gorgeous. That's going to be eating my life. And you're okay. sort of cutting on an angle, huh? Yep, yep, yep. It's like, that's the sashimi technique. And we're gonna wrap these little guys up like little rosettes. Oh okay. my gosh! This is yep. the prettiest bagel I've ever seen in my life. Thank you. It's all about presentation, right? Yes, perfect okay. little slices. Okay. All right, now we're good. Wonderful. Now we're gonna wrap up the cheese right on top of the bagel. It's already been toasted. I'm gonna pipe that on. This cheese is so light Everything. and fluffy. <gasps> Look how and amazing. pretty this is. <laughs> and very flavorful. Mm. Uh, the bagel also has some roasted jalapenos in there. Ooh. More heat. Ooh, okay. Okay, and then we're gonna put on our salmon right on top. Okay. I feel like, you know what, you, have you ever go su to sushi and you watch the sushi chef mm -hmm. and make all yes. the cheese? so fascinating. This is what we're doing right now. I know. Wow. Okay, all right. Pickled onions. Okay, this is just red onions and vinegar, sugar, salt, nothing special. Okay. Very easy. Okay, we'll try to make it as pretty as the ones I gave you. Um, <laughs> Sorry, what's that? Green onion, scallions, oh. julienne very, very finely. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. Okay, and this is something interesting. We took jalapenos and we pickled them in caper brine. So it literally took a jar of capers. Once the capers uh -huh. were done, we kept the liquid and threw some jalapenos in there. You get the flavor of capers in your jalapeno. Oh, wow, you're a wizard. Everything you is are so a wizard. thought. You really Thoughtful. are. You're a bagel and locks wizard. I try. I bet you don't I hear try. that every day. You should see my wizard costume. <laughs> wow. Some beautiful purple radish for cr for some crisp, crunchy, and some more jalapeno and cilantro to top. Okay. Okay. Can I get and in there? Serve. Yes. All you. Oh my gosh. All yeah. you. Oh wait, 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 wait. One second. One flower. second. Flower. I'm putting flowers <laughs> on second, it too. One second. One second. Uh, these are leek blossoms. Beautiful oh, oniony flavor. There it is, Deb. Leeks. I know it's a work of art. You don't want to take a bite, but you Where do want to take a bite. Trust I me, mean. we've tasted it already. Thank you so much, Chef. You enjoy. Deb, this recipe available now on our website, hallmarkchannel.com, of course. And for more from Sang, head over to his Instagram right there. Debbie knows what we're talking about now. There's <laughs> the bagel's blocking my face. <laughs> oh, God.